When I asked riders which course they were most excited for, one name rose above the rest. A rooty and tactical course, that's not the only reason riders love racing here. The fans are next level. For me, it's just huge motivation to feel the adrenaline. Like, I think it's fuel that pushes me forward and it's an amazing feeling. I'm Brianna McShane and this is round two of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup. Well, we are just minutes away from the start of the race and the sun is shining here today. The US riders are looking very strong, but one woman who can stop Kate Courtney is Yolanda Neff. The Swiss rider has won here before. Can she do it again? Sylvia Mesto Navarami again then underway. Talbot gets on the pedals. Anna Talbot leads. Neff goes through in second place through the split. Head of Courtney. Cena Fry. Connell in fifth place. I mean, this is a physical track for those short punchy climbs, but the descents are not one where you can rest either. And look at the tree roots on the way up. So now Anatol was pushing hard to keep that gap. And she's become the first ever Dutch woman to win a cross-country World Cup race. And Kate Courtney not that far behind. Kate Courtney overtaking Yolanda Neff. Already on lap four of six, only two to go. It is your leader, yep. On a tow bar. That gap is coming down, I would say. I think probably to less than five seconds now, so Courtney is coming. The world champion closes in. One more lap for her, still in the lead. It's Kate Courtney who is second, chasing hard. Oh, I see the expression on her face, on her body, her body language. Uh, Kate was just about 10 seconds behind me, so I knew if I'm going to make a mistake, then uh, she will win. So I thought, okay, let's do the expert climb really well. That's a climb with slippery rocks. And then I made a mistake and I couldn't get out of my pedals. I couldn't click out and then I crashed on the right side of the bike. Oh, she has got off the bike. Uh, I lost a lot of time with putting the chain on because it was so askew and then I lost so much time, and yeah. There, there she is, far in the back of these riders. Devastating, but I, I know what I can do, and I know that I'm in shape, but I have to learn how to lead, and that's difficult, so. What looked to be the perfect race until that point. It is a flat rear tire for Yolanda Neff. Oh. 2019 is belonging to this woman so far. You can hardly believe it. The Stars and Stripes strike again. Kate Courtney for the USA wins Novia Mesto Navarabi. America is very much back at the top. And it's going to be an incredible result for Rebecca McConnell. Hayley Smith, her best ever career finish. Third place for the Canadian, absolutely incredible. Cena Fry as well, her best finish for fourth. Taking no chances, has a look over her shoulder. She's gonna get her first World Cup podium as well. Dagon into fifth place then, incredible. Yeah, that was one of the deepest digs of my life. It wasn't looking like it was gonna be my day, but when I stayed focused and got back in my rhythm, I, I really had a chance and I took it. Drama here in Nova Mesto with both Neff and Tauber running into trouble on that last lap. Today belongs to Kate Courtney, taking back-to-back -back wins with an emotional victory. Matthias Fukia comes in smiling today, and it's Mathieu van der Poel in that leader's jersey. But keep an eye on Nino Scherzer. He is a master of this track. He's won here six times before. Let's go racing then. It's going to be a hot pace, this one. Oh, the 
pace of these riders up this climb bar. I mean, when you walk up, it's incredibly steep. World Cyclocross champion. Head to head with the World Man and Bike champion. Seeing third place for him. Well, just behind the leaders. Nino Scherter and Mathieu van der Poel battling out of the front. Here's the next pack of riders going through. Avancini leading Maxi Marot and Matthias Bluckiger. Look at the pace of these two up this long climb here. Incredible. Starting to look to me like this might be a two-horse race. But when it's Nino Scherf against Mathieu van der Poel, I'm not sure you need anyone else there. <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite content with that. Man, this race is going by fast. They're in a league of their own today. Look at that. 45 seconds, the gap. Brutal out there, Bart, isn't it? Well, the fans enjoying this one. Novia Mesto, Namaravi again. And nothing between these two great champions. Where do they find this power? Over an hour of racing, and they, there is no let up in the pace whatsoever. Third place, Blukiger goes. I think he's going to go right around sink there. Last lap, then here they go. Making it easy here on this part of the course. Definitely slowing the pace there, Van der Poel a bit. You can see him readying himself almost for whatever's yeah. about to come. Just yeah. Oh, Van der Poel goes. And Schurter, oh, Schurter trying to go with him. I'm not sure he can. Van der Poel kicked. At the bottom of that climb there. That looks like Mathieu van der Poel is gone. Well, it does, you're right. Van der Poel has ridden away from the Olympic champion here in Novia Mesto. It's a big gap, Scherter unable to respond. You called him an animal earlier in the show. That is what he is when it comes to turning the pedals on a bike. The World Cup leader has finally done it. The greatest cyclist of his generation leaves his mark on mountain biking. Mathieu van der Poel takes his first ever World Cup win. The first for a Dutchman since 2006. And it was the man actually sat next to me that did it then. Wow. Oh, it's really nice to, uh, to finally win a World Cup. I've been trying it now for, uh, for a couple of years. And um, to take the win on my favorite course in a direct battle to Nino Schurter, it's, uh, it's amazing. We've been talking about it a long time, Nino Schurter. Good to see him smiling, Bart. That yeah, was a tough one. Uh, I felt pretty strong and uh, yeah, I was in a good situation with Matthew in the front, but I knew he's a, he's a dangerous uh, guy, uh, especially if I can't drop him uh, towards the end of the race. And uh, I tried, I, I think I did everything right. Uh, today was just one guy stronger. Another great ride for Matthias Bluckiger. The biggest roar of the day, perhaps, as Avancini crosses the line in fourth place, goes to this man. Andre Singh for the Czech Republic, back on a World Cup podium. What an incredible fight between Matthew van der Poel and Nino Schurter, but this was all about one man here today. A very deserving first ever elite cross country World Cup win by Matthew van der Poel. The atmosphere here is electric. The riders will be happy to have a couple weeks break. We'll see you at the next grueling test, Valnoa Andorra.